As we arrive, we all start helping each other. The boys are getting wood. It's so good to see how the boys enjoy working and laughing with each other. As the young girls, they're helping me clean and getting fresh water from the lake. I'm also teaching them how to cook and sew. The next day, they all left to go back to town. I was left alone to myself. I just loved it. So peaceful, the sound from the wood stove, the birds singing, and the raven calling. I see the wind gently moving the trees. I feel so alive sitting by the window, the beauty of the Great Bear Lake, making me feel at home. I sat quietly sewing, thinking all about the worries we have when we're at home. It's so different when we're in the bush. As I sat by myself, I feel good about everything around me. Then I prepare for supper. As I cut meat, I look out the window. I see the skidoo lights coming back to the camp. After supper, I put on an old tape of the prophet's story told by the Cecil Modest. <laughs> I lie down on the wooden bed and watch 13 youth lying on the floor, not a whisper. Listen to the tapes in ordinary language. I will never forget that night, again so peaceful, the moonlight coming through the window like a blanket over all the kids. The sound of the wood stove. It's so comfortable. The next day, the kids have to leave, but they didn't want it to go. My family is with me later that night. All of a sudden, I see the skidoo lights again, and I'm thinking, what are they doing? They have come back to bring me pop, chips, bread, and cinnamon rolls. They are thanking me. I'm thankful for them because I know they appreciate the time we spend together. The lake, the moon, the sounds of birds, ravens, and fire. We shared it all.